Welcome to Monet Cafe. I'm artist Susan Jenkins, and this lesson should be a lot of fun, and I think you're gonna love it. I used only one set of pastels. What is this set? Well, you're gonna find out. I was actually awarded this 30 half stick set of this particular brand of pastels, and I actually decided to gift it to one of my patrons on my Patreon page, and I found out who didn't have a lot of pastels, and so, I loved it so much, I thought, you know what? I'm gonna send her a new set and I'm gonna keep this one. So you're gonna learn a lot in this lesson and it should be a lot of fun. If you would, go ahead and like this video. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you hit the little bell next to the subscribe button, you'll be notified of any future videos I post. Also too, as I mentioned, my patrons are so special to me from my Patreon page. They contribute $5 a month and it helps me to keep these videos coming, the free videos. And my patrons get extra content. All right, here we go. I recently posted something on my Instagram page, by the way, find me and follow me at Susan Jenkins Artist, that showed a little bit of the behind the scenes of what I have to do to record myself. And so many people were interested in that, that I thought I'd show my setup before starting this painting. And a lot of you have mentioned you like the overhead footage, which I think helps you see things more clearly. Oh, and a must have in my studio is my little buddy Jackson. Before I get to the pastels, let me share what surface I'll be using. This is pastel matte. I like to get it in these pads that come in different colors. And the color that I'm using today is kind of that gray color, but you can see it's got a burgundy, it's got a blue, it's got the, and I love working on that blue paper. It's got the gray that I'm using here, and it also has kind of a beigey color. And I decided they have two sizes of the pads. I'll have all these links in the description of the video of the products. And now let me talk about these pastels. And yes, I used only this set of pastels for this painting. And it is, as you can see, it's Unison Pastels. This is their 30 half stick set. It's called the Starter Set. And I actually won this set because I entered one of those unison contests they have. You enter it and then you share their link. And if other people click the link, you, you get entered again. So you have more chances to win. And so I shared the link on my Monet Cafe art group on Facebook. And there's like 15,000 members in there. So I thought, well, that wasn't really fair for me to win. Plus, I have so many pastels. That's why I gifted it to one of my patrons. And oh, she's so excited. But like I said, the set was so lovely. I loved the colors and the values. So I decided to keep this one for my myself, like I said, and just send her a new one. Oh, and I have some more products in my art store. I have links underneath every video on YouTube that will take you to my art store. I recently uploaded this new Monet Cafe coffee cup with my painting on it, and I have some fun t-shirts in the shop as well. All right, here we go. When I initially analyzed the colors in the set, I could see very quickly that they would really be great for a poppy field painting. And while I would love to get all of my own reference images, I don't get out a lot. <laughs> Just my life and, and my art business, of course. So I resort sometimes to sites like unsplash.com to get reference images. I don't live near any poppy field. So I'll have the link to that in the description of this video. Now, what I decided to do, I want to keep this very simple and kind of a beginner lesson. I decided to use only soft pastels. You know, sometimes I'll do an underpainting with a different medium, but I'm going to use only pastels and I decided to use, uh, I thought about using that one, but it was too light. Really those four really peachy, earthy kind of colored pastels to create an underpainting. I'm going to create a base to lay down my poppy field on. And because pastel matte surface is water friendly, this is a piece of vine charcoal or willow charcoal. Um, I like to sketch with sometimes. And because pastel matte is water friendly, I knew that I could lay down some pastel and liquefy it. Now I decided to use, I've been using this a lot lately, airbrush medium. Uh, you know, what is it parents sometimes they'll say do as I say not as I do well don't do as I do in this video because I wasn't happy with the airbrush medium on this pastel mat the way I used it. Uh, just use water or alcohol substitute that for what I'm using as airbrush medium. And this was another technique I had used in a previous video where I used a stencil brush for blending. And they also make these things called pastel smoothies, but you can just use a stencil brush. Once again, if I did this painting over again, I would use just water or alcohol 
and a paintbrush. The stencil brush with the airbrush medium didn't work that great. I had used it previously with alcohol and it was awesome. So there's my little uh, preface to what not to do, but you'll totally be able to get the point uh, when I get to adding the liquid to it. Now, what I like to do is just to get in a very loose sketch. I'm going to be laying down some of these pastels for the underpainting. And a lot of people wonder, why do you do an underpainting? Well, look, that's a big old piece of gray paper there. And I really just think it's kind of boring and that's a lot of gray to cover up. So an underpainting is a way to lay down some values and some color that's really going to complement your final painting. And it also too breaks the ice because a lot of times when you start or when I did as an artist, I had a tendency to get so specific and tied up in one area and an underpainting allows you to go ahead and get started and to get a base in of some lovely colors and values. Now I like to use, the reason I chose these colors, I like to use some complementary color. What that means is the opposite on the color wheel. If you have like greens, like grasses, if you look at the color wheel and you look at greens, your complements across from green are going to be reds. They're going to be warmer tones or oranges. And also, like artist Karen Margulis often says, um, she likes to lay down the dirt. It happens to be the color of dirt anyway, okay? It's going to be a brown or warm tone. So think of it that way and also know that a complement color is going to make the color you lay down on top just really sing and look so much better. So I love laying down a warm underpainting like this and I sometimes will just tone the whole surface with one color and that works too. But in this case I decided to do kind of a gradient of values. We know that values in art will go from the foreground to the background. They go from darker to lighter. The foreground is usually darker, then it gets a little lighter, lighter, and your lightest is going to be more like in the sky. So that's why I often will do an underpainting that has kind of that layering effect. And I thought these colors were great for that. Now I did decide to add a little bit more of this more, uh, a little bit more brown to it, uh, orangey color. Uh, on top of the, the first color I laid down, I thought it would make it more interesting. And I am going to speed up this underpainting portion and again, share with you um, why not to do it the way that I did it. Still do everything like this, um, but I would recommend to either just use water or alcohol and a large brush and you can get a a better effect. I would have definitely gotten a better effect. So here I am, Miss Experimentation. I can't help it. I don't know why I have to always try new things. But I'm using my stencil brush and my airbrush medium. And you know, it looks like it's working here. And, uh, and it was. But what happened was the airbrush medium it's like it didn't dry right. And it almost dried with a little film to it on top of the pastel mat. So I found myself having a little bit of a harder time applying some of the pastel to it. So that's why I wouldn't use the airbrush medium on pastel matte again. Now I'm testing some of my colors now. I've got it all dry and I had to use a blow dryer because it took a while to dry. And I'm testing colors. Now the only darks that are in this set was a black, which I don't, I hardly ever use black and a dark blue. But guess what? We can mix colors with pastels. Often people think you can't. Well, it's not like wet mediums, you know, like watercolor, acrylic, or oil. But you can layer pastels on top of each other, especially if you keep a light touch. And you can get the illusion of a new color. So I didn't want black, and I didn't want just that blue. And I knew that my foreground had a lot of deep grasses. So I just followed my reference image and just had a, a general idea of where I was going to lay down some of these darks. Again, a nice light touch. And by the way, the reason I left the blank spaces where they are for the flowers in the sky, I, I wanted those colors to really show. Not, and now I could have, I actually should have taken that light colored peach up into the sky. I didn't realize, I thought I had gone up into where I had the mountains, but you'll see, I kind of wrestle with getting the sky to cover some of those marks. But I wanted those flowers to be so fresh and red colored uh, without that um, peachy um, coral color kind of showing through. So, and I know I can layer some of my smaller flowers on top later. So I really just focused on the largest flowers. Now, I know I have this mountain range in the back, so I'm going to kind of get it in and I'll share with you ahead of time 
I sort of copied the mountain range that was in the photo, but sometimes we have the artistic license to change things. After I was done with the final painting, I realized this mountain range was high on the right side and it kind of just sloped down to where it was low on the left side where I am now. And I decided later I didn't like that. I didn't, it felt like it was kind of falling off the page. So I ended up raising up the mountains on the left side as well. Now, this is a point where if you are watching on Monet Cafe, of course, it's always free. But remember how I mentioned sometimes my patrons get some extra content because of their support. I'm going to continue this video in real time with extra commentary for my patrons. And don't worry, though, if you're just watching on Monet Cafe, um, you've already gotten a lot of content and I am going to speed it up to some music and I'm not going to speed it up so much that you can't follow what I'm doing. Once again, you'll have the reference image and a link to this description and links to the products and all kinds of um, useful things in the description of this video. So enjoy. If you're a patron, hang on. You're getting more content and real time. All right, guys, blessings and don't go away. I'll be back at the end for everybody. <laughs>
as I shared in my little comment I added while the music was playing, I, I did like it with the little flowers. There was a few hints of yellow and white flowers in the reference image, but I sort of liked it when it was just the poppies too. But again, I had a lot of fun with this. I added a little bit of red in the field in the distance, a little horizontal bands to suggest maybe some of those poppies growing further away. It kind of connects the painting too. So this one, oh my gosh, I loved this set of unison pastels. I love giving you guys ways that you can paint with for less money. I think this set is about $80. Now this is an extreme close up. I actually shot it vertically and had to really zoom in on it to show you. But now you can kind of see some of those marks and the fresh color. That's another uh, good aspect about not overworking a painting. The color stays more fresh. And here's the final. I went back and found the title. I called it A Time to Dance. And I got it from Ecclesiastes 3, verse 4. It says, a time to weep, a time to laugh, a time to mourn, and a time to dance. And here's that little Monet Cafe coffee cup. And I have some other fun products in my shop if you would like to check it out. And I hope you learned a lot. And as always, God bless and happy painting. <music>